Okay, let's write it down and see if we can figure this out. All right, it's a little more difficult. And the reason why those things are being squared in the bottom. So let's go to town, see what we get. I'm gonna go to the whiteboard and I'll try to write down what I'm seeing. And I'm seeing an SN, it's the first thing I wanna see. That's the nth partial sum. And what do I see there? I see three. It's gonna be complicated though, isn't it? Three, and then they get one squared, two squared, plus, well, that's five. And like I say, you gotta chase one rabbit at a time. And there's three rabbits to chase at this point. And you got three squared, plus seven, and then you get three squared times four squared. Well, I'm gonna say yada, 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 but I wanna end at the nth term. So let's take a look at this. Again, this is A1. Let's just do the top first. It's going up by two. So I'll say 2n plus one. Does that work? Well, you certainly, if, if n is one, you get three. If n is two, you get five. If n is three, you get seven. Works beautifully. Let's go to the bottom, and there's something being squared there. And we'll say one, two, three. So I'm gonna say that's n squared. Let's do the next one. What's the next one gonna be two, three, four? So n plus one squared. Okay, I got that. And now my concern is, what do I do about that? Um, well, I gotta write something down, don't I? And let me just, before I do that, I wanna write an down for you. An is 2n plus one, n squared, n plus one squared. All right, this is much more complicated, and I'll tell you why. I got, I got troubles immediately. And it's a partial fraction decomposition, but I got these repeated linear factors. So I'm gonna say a over n plus b over n squared plus c over n plus one plus, whoa, d over n plus one squared, all right? So I'm gonna multiply both sides by the LCD and you're gonna get two n plus one equals a times n, n plus one squared, plus b, n plus one squared, plus c, n, n plus one. I'm sorry, n squared. Okay, and d, it's gonna be n squared d. All right? So I'm gonna pick something that I think might be easy to deal with. And I'm gonna say n equals zero. And what does that give me? Whoops, not two, that's crazy. That's one. If n is equal zero, what do you get? Well, you're just gonna get a b. So I know b is one. So I'm gonna get my eraser out. And I know b is one now. All right, let's keep going. I am now gonna pick n equals to minus one, see what happens. Well, if I pick minus one, on the left side, you're gonna get minus one. And the right side, you're just gonna get d. That's all you're gonna get. So what does it tell me d is? d is minus one. I'm gonna get my eraser out, erase this and put down minus one now. All right, I still gotta get C and A, right? This looks really tough. So let's take a look. And how am I gonna do that? Well, I need to pick another easy value. I think I've exhausted the really easy ones. So I'm gonna pick N to be one. Now what would you get on the left side? You get three, right? And what do you get on the right side? You would get A. And then you're gonna get what? Well, n plus one, if I put a one there, that would be a two, right? And two squared is four, right there over here for you. All right, let's go to the b. I know the b is one. And n plus one is two, so it's gonna be plus four. Let's go to the c. And see, what do you get there? Well, if I chose one, 
I would get 2C. And what would the D be? The D is minus 1, right? So what do you get? You get minus 1. All right, let, let's put this down. And I'm looking at this as, you know, 4A plus 3. So this, this really reduces to 0, 4A plus 2C. Right? I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And what do you get there? You would get 2A plus C. All right? Got to keep going, don't I? There's two unknowns there. So let's pick another N. And I'm going to pick N to be... Let's try 2 now. It's a lot of work. I know that. I'm encouraging it, though. You're going to get 5. And you're going to get A now. What's the coefficient on A? I don't know what A is, by the way. That's why I'm saying you're going to get A. You're going to get 2 plus 1 is 3, 9. 9 times 2 is 18. Now, what's B? B is 1, right? And what's uh, 2 plus 1 is 3? That's 9. C, I don't know. But you know what? I think I kind of know what C is related to. And what's C going to be? It's actually minus 2A. So I'm going to write this down. So it's going to be minus 2a. And now I'm going to do this 2 business, right? What do you get? 2 squared, that's 4. And, and 2 plus 1 is 3, that's 12. And then what are you going to get? You can get 4d, right? Well, d is minus 1, isn't it? So you can get minus 4. Wow, this is really tough. Let's see if we can figure it out. At least it's one unknown now. So what do you get? 5, 18a minus 24a, and let's see, 9 minus 4 is 5, right? Subtract 5 from both sides, you get 0. Now you get 18a minus 24a, that's going to be minus 6a, and what's a? a is 0. Now if a is 0, what's c? c is 0. That was a lot of work, wasn't it? But now I know a is 0, my eraser out. And I know C is 0. Okay? So I'm going to write A N down now. So it's a lot of work. And what's it going to be? Let's go back up here. 1 over N squared. Minus 1 over N plus 1 squared. All right? If you prefer, you could also write it down as 2N plus 1 over n squared, n plus 1 squared. All right, so that's kind of dumb. We'll look at the key later, by the way, but right now I'm going to move on to Sn. I'm going to start writing it down. And I'll write it down in pairs. And let's write this down. So it's going to be 1 over 1 squared minus 1 over 2 squared plus 1 over 2 squared minus 1 over 3 squared. All right, keep writing down. 1 over 3 squared minus 1 over 4 squared. And I think you see a general pattern here, right? Let's go to the end. I'll write the last three terms down. Not that you have to, but it's not a bad idea. And what's going to be? It's going to be 1 over n squared minus 1 over n plus 1 squared. Let's see if I got that right. Yeah, I did okay. And then instead of going up, we're going to go down now. Let's see, that would be n squared, right? Then what do you have here? 1 over n minus 2 squared minus 1 over n minus 1 squared. Well, let's take a look at the cancellations. These are telescope, and there are going to be a lot of cancellations in the problem. So I'm seeing this disappears, this disappears, this would disappear with the one that's there. Everything in the middle, there'd be something, everything in the middle disappears. There'd be something here that disappears with this one. Then this one disappears. This one disappears. And I'm left off with something pretty simple. Let's write that down. What are you left off with? You're left off with, let's see, 1 over 1 squared, which is 1, minus 1 over n plus 1 squared. All right? So let's write down Sn now. It's 1 minus 1 over n plus 1 squared. What's S infinity? 
It's the limit as n goes to infinity of Sn. Relatively easy to do. It's just the number one. So let's go to the key. See how we did. And the key, um, you know, it's it not much work down, but I just want to read through it, see if I got what I said I was going to get. And did I write an down? Yeah. Did I write down 2n plus 1 over n squared, uh, n plus 1 squared? Yeah. Did I do the partial fraction decomposition, 1 over n squared minus 1 over n plus 1 squared? Yep. Did I write Sn down? Let's see. Sn, uh, let's see. Yes, I did. I want to point out they wrote something else down too. And I'll, I'll tell you what they wrote down. They wrote down n plus 1 squared and n plus 1 squared minus 1, which would turn out to be on top n squared plus 2n over n plus 1 squared. And they did write that down as well. It doesn't add to the problem, though. No. It really doesn't add anything. I just figured maybe I'd, I'd put down multiple forms of Sn for students that want to see multiple forms. And did I put S infinity down? I sure did. So everything is working as advertised, which is what we want to happen. Thank you.